So we're in part two right now. And Matthew just won like around twelve thousand dollars. We're in a double jeopardy. So we're gonna finish up when we start it. All right. It's, game. it's, ba it's actually eleven thousand dollars that I'm leading the game with, but twelve thousand is still close. So I have the lead with eleven thousand dollars. We're currently in double jeopardy. Just got the last clue in World War One for eight hundred. So I'm going to go with word origins for four hundred. The name of the alb, a vestment worn by priests, is derived from a Latin word for this color. What's white? Yeah. Precisely. Again. Word origins 800. From Yiddish for a wooden beam, it describes a person so clumsy he might bump into one. What's a klutz? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Now we Correct. describe Inspector Clouseau from the Pink Panthers. Word origins 12. The name of this tent fabric comes from a Dutch word for cloth, not from a web-footed bird. What is a duck? What is What is duct tape? Regrettably. Oh no. No. Maybe it's duck bill. Here's what we were looking for. Oh, just duck. Uh, word origin. One, you're still in control of the board. Word origin 16. Okay. When they begin this dance, they should know its name is from the French for a flirtation. What is a begin? That's it exactly. Word Argent's two. Answer, the Daily Double. One of the Daily Doubles. Player one, please make your wager now. 1400. Okay, here's the clue. The name of this xylophone that originated in Africa may be from the Kimbundu language. Uh oh. No. Oh, it's a tambourine? Good guess. No. No. Here's what we're looking It's the marimba. Oh well. Uh, Anagram Texas City's 400. A big deal since the 1840s. All sad. What is Dallas? Very good. You pick again. Texas City's 800. An island city. No bad gal. What is Galveston? Very good. You pick again. Texas City's 1200. Near the river of the same name. Scope. What is Pecos? I wonder if they need Pecos after Pecos Bell. Maybe. Exactly. Uh, 16. Anagram Texas City's. We have a problem. Oh, nuts. What is Houston? One of the stops on the Supercross season. Yes. Anagram Texas City's 2000. It's no daily double. 1955. Old ear. What is Laredo? Uh, today we didn't find the second daily double in that category, but that's okay. Yeah. Hey, you got it. Okay. Uh, oh, we still have 15 minutes of fame, 400. William Figueroa's moment came in 1992 when he spelled this tuber for Dan Quayle. Oh. This is the correct. Oh, potato. Should've known that one. 15 minutes of fame, 800. In 1968, Valerie Solanas became famous for 15 minutes after she shot and wounded this artist seen here. Take a look at your monitor. I don't know who that is.
that is. Who was Andy Warhol? You bet. Oh, Andy Warhol. Player two, what'll it be? Fifteen minutes of the game for one thousand two hundred. Hello, this clone sheep's name became a household name in early nineteen ninety seven. What is Dolly? Dolly, actually, yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. That's uh -huh. it exactly. Okay, so I think I'll let Mark make the next selection. Over to you, player one. Uh, how about trees for twelve hundred? Twelve hundred? Twelve hundred, yeah. Interesting. All of the hundreds of species of this tree bear acorns. What is an oak? I was kind of hoping that would have been the hey, second nearly it. double, but oh no. Okay. You want to go again, Mark? Uh, sure. Trees for 2,000. The U.S. Forest wow. Service is an agency of this cabinet department, not the interior. What is agriculture? Right. Pick again. Okay, Henry, where do you want to go? Um, uh, I can't see the fifth category. Historic happenings. Uh, say what? Historic happenings. Oh, historic happenings for 1600. It was the last Indian Empire in Mexico and Central America. Oh, Henry's just doing the thing I was doing. Here's what we were looking for. Oh, the Aztec Empire. Well, Henry, why don't you go again? Um, let's try trees for 1600. In America, you will see the sugar and pitch varieties of these coniferous trees. Uh... Ma maple trees? I don't know. I was just thinking. I'm thinking maple. Nice try. No. That's incorrect. No. Uh, Down to 20,000. To be honest, I would have said maple as well. What we were looking for was this. Pines. Pines? Pines? Yeah. Hey, you're still up, player one. Uh, 15 minutes of fame, 16. Answer? The Daily Double. There's the other Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Thousand dollars. Okay, here's the clue. In the 1970s, a purported will made by this man left millions to former gas station operator Melvin Dumar. Uh. I don't know. Ooh, sorry. But I didn't go too what big. Looking for it was Howard Hughes. Howard Hillsop? I get that one. Hughes. Like, 50 minutes of fame, 2000. Oliver Sipple gained fame in 1975 by grabbing Sarah Jane Moore's arm as she tried to shoot this U.S. president. What we were looking for was this. Gerald Ford. <laughs> Historic happenings, 400. In 1949, this aviator seen here received the Wright Brothers trophy. Here's your clue. Take a look. Video clue? I'm thinking that's Charles Lindbergh. Correct. Yeah. Historic happenings, 800. As a result of the Six-Day War of 1967, this Middle East Canal remained closed until 1975. What is the Suez Canal? Well done, yes. Okay, Mark, where do you want to go? Uh, trees 800. 
The Arizona cypress is a favorite as this holiday decoration. Oh. What is a Christmas tree? Of course. Yes. Of course. Oh. Player three. I should have known that. World War One for 1,200. Four of this U.S. Air Ace's 26 confirmed victories were balloons. Anyway. Uh, they had that Christmas look considering what tomorrow Eddie Rickenbacker. Yeah. World War I for 1600. The Dantone was sunk, but the French battleship, named for this Candide author, survived the war. Oh. Who was Voltaire? Yeah, I just thought of that. Player two, your turn. World War One for 2000. Nickname for the granddaughter of arms maker Alfred Krupp. This howitzer weighed 43 tons. I don't know. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for... Big Bertha. Player two, you're still in control of the board. Historic happenings for 1,200. England's first encounter with the Spanish fleet occurred off Plymouth, July 31st, 1588. What is the uh, Armada, Spanish Armada? Yes. Historic happening. In fact, Henry, why don't you make the next one? Three for 400. In 1912, this Asian country gave the U.S. a bunch of cherry trees. What is Japan? Hey, you got it. Last one for 2000 and historic what happenings. This board is of 1962, yep. 1972, or 1982, the year the man seen here went to both Moscow and Peking. Take a look at your monitor. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. You know who that was? Hey, you got it. And that's exactly what I was thinking, too. That's the end of the double jury round. Yeah. Let's check out the score, shall we? Yeah, the same year The Price is Right debuted on CBS. Uh huh. Splendid work, please. So as a result. 23,800, player 2 is 4,400, player 3, 2,800. So we got this one out, out of reach. reach. And not be caught. Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, so we've got a few one, seconds assuming we don't on reach everything in Final Jeopardy and get it wrong, and I don't think that will happen. These United States. These United States. Go ahead, make your wager. I'm going to go 1,200. Ah, not pulling any Clavins here, eh? No. Here I didn't is think the so. final Jeopardy. All right, let's see the clue. This college meets on the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December, but only once every four years. Four years. I'm gonna say leaf, but I'm probably I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I have no clue, honestly. Let's see if you got the right question. Oh, we're still gonna win. Yeah. Your question, player three, was the College of Federal Judges. Ooh. No. Let's see what that will cost you. Nope. Not right. 2,800. Everything. Ouch. Your so question, long, player, player two, was? He said, the U.S. College of Cardinals? Uh-uh. what that will cost you. 4,400. Sometimes you get a tough one. Uh-huh. Your well, question, We're just about done here. Bless you. Leaps? I know that's wrong. Not. No. 
That'll cost you. Not only twelve hundred. Just cost us twelve hundred dollars. Ouch. But I still win it with twenty two thousand six hundred. We were looking for the electoral college. Ah, the electoral. Electoral. Oh, okay. So that takes our first well, technically you are thirty-one games total to eight hundred and sixty-two thousand six hundred. Congratulations, winner who really racked up a tremendous score today. Player one. Twenty-two thousand six hundred, and as Mark said earlier, it is now eight hundred and eight hundred and sixty-two thousand six hundred. Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Bye, Alex. And my next game. Time, Alex. And my next game will be for the PS1 first.